Shall We Dance, a 1937 movie directed by Mark Sandrich, is a classic musical that has continued to capture the hearts of audiences for generations. With its unforgettable music, dazzling choreography, and charming performances, it invites us to take a step back in time to the glamorous era of the silver screen. The film raises questions about the characters and their roles, making you wonder, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? It's a story that leaves a lasting impact on viewers, prompting them to reflect on their own cherished memories associated with this cinematic gem. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about this remarkable show, shedding light on the magic behind the scenes and the enduring appeal of Shall We Dance. Did you know that the movie was one of the last collaborations between Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, leaving an indelible mark on the history of cinema? Stay tuned for more fascinating tidbits about this beloved classic. Share your thoughts and memories with us in the comments. Shall We Dance is a classic 1937 musical film directed by Mark Sandrich, starring the legendary Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. The film follows the story of Peter P. Peters, a famous American ballet dancer who meets and falls in love with Linda Keene, a renowned musical comedy performer, during a transatlantic cruise to New York. Misunderstandings and mistaken identities ensue, leading to a delightful blend of humor and romance. The film showcases the signature elegance and grace of Astaire and Rogers, with their iconic dance sequences leaving a lasting mark on the world of cinema. The film's unique style and memorable music, including the classic song Let's Call the Whole Thing Off, continue to resonate with audiences, and it remains a beloved piece of Hollywood's golden age. Shall We Dance has had a significant impact on popular culture, inspiring countless dance enthusiasts, and serving as a testament to the enduring charm of the Astaire Rogers partnership. It's a timeless cinematic gem that continues to captivate viewers with its enchanting dance numbers and enduring romance. Gershwin's Walking the Dog can be heard as background in the dog walking scene. This classic piece of music adds a playful and whimsical touch to the film, enhancing the viewer's enjoyment of the dog walking scene. Furthermore, it's interesting to note that luxury liners of the past often had dedicated kennels on board, as passengers frequently traveled with their beloved pets. The sight of dogs being walked on a ship might evoke a sense of nostalgia for a time when travel by sea was an opulent and extravagant affair. In the case of the famous movie Titanic, we can see a portrayal of dogs being walked on board, but it's a much less glamorous depiction compared to the luxurious accommodations of early 20th century luxury liners. The film Titanic, directed by James Cameron, offers a contrasting view of dog walking on a ship, set against the backdrop of the ill-fated voyage. The depiction serves to highlight the disparities between the grandeur of the past and the tragic circumstances of the Titanic's maiden voyage. In conclusion, Gershwin's Walking the Dog provides a delightful musical backdrop to the dog walking scene which, in turn, reminds us of the days when luxury liners offered pampered pet accommodations. The portrayal of dogs on ships, both in the classic film and in Titanic, reflects the evolution of travel and luxury as well as the varying fortunes of passengers and their four-legged companions in different eras. This text was Costumer Irene's visually stunning gowns for Ginger Rogers in the 1937 movie Shall We Dance were a true testament to her artistry and ingenuity in the world of costume design. With a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of the film's creative vision, Irene created a wardrobe that seamlessly integrated with the movie's monochromatic color scheme. The meticulously crafted gowns not only enhanced Ginger Rogers' on-screen presence, but also became iconic pieces in the world of film fashion. Ginger Rogers, known for her impeccable grace and elegance, was the perfect canvas for Irene's designs. The gowns emphasized Rogers' beauty and added an extra layer of sophistication to her character, perfectly complementing the film's aesthetic. Irene's work demonstrated her ability to transform fabric into works of art, making each gown an essential part of the movie's visual storytelling. The decision to adhere to a monochromatic color scheme added a distinctive touch to the film's overall visual appeal. 
It created a harmonious and visually captivating experience for the audience, allowing the viewers to focus on the characters and their emotions while being immersed in the timeless elegance of Irene's creations. Shall We Dance remains a classic example of how costume design can elevate a movie's aesthetics and storytelling, and Irene's contributions continue to be celebrated to this day. In summary, Irene's work in designing Ginger Rogers' gowns for Shall We Dance stands as a shining example of her talent and influence in the world of costume design, ultimately contributing to the film's enduring legacy. The monochromatic theme, elegantly executed by Irene, remains a testament to her creative genius and her ability to leave an indelible mark on cinematic history. This collaboration between Irene and Ginger Rogers brought to life a visual masterpiece that continues to inspire and captivate audiences, reminding us of the power of a well-executed wardrobe in storytelling. In 1937, the movie Shall We Dance made headlines not just for its on-screen charm, but also for the off-screen drama. Laola Parsons, a prominent Hollywood columnist, reported that Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire, the film's lead stars, were on the verge of breaking up. It was said that Harriet Hochter, the ballerina seen in the film, was to replace Rogers as the lead. However, this was all part of the studio's politics. RKO, the studio behind the film, found itself in a tricky situation. Ginger Rogers, by this time, had become their biggest star, demanding fair compensation for her work. She had been underpaid in the earlier Rogers Astaire series, earning less than some minor actors. But by the time Shall We Dance came around, she had firmly established herself as a top billing actress. The studio had no choice but to meet her requirements, given her immense popularity. After this film, Rogers continued to be a box office sensation, while Astaire's movies began to face financial challenges. This behind-the-scenes tension added an interesting layer to the making of Shall We Dance. It reflects the shifting dynamics of Hollywood and the power that top actors could wield in negotiating their terms. So, while the film showcased the timeless dance and romance of Rogers and a stare on the surface, there was an intriguing story unfolding off-camera where Rogers stood her ground and paved the way for more equitable pay in the industry. This is the untold story of Shall We Dance in 1937 a film that not only delighted audiences with its on-screen magic, but also marked a pivotal moment in Hollywood's history. As we bring the curtain down on our journey through the world of the 1937 movie Shall We Dance, I invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on the unique connection you forged with this timeless classic. Just as Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers danced their way into our hearts, this film has twirled its way into your own personal story. What is it about Shall We Dance that resonates with you? Is it the elegance of the ballroom sequences, the enchanting chemistry between the lead actors, or perhaps the melodious tunes that still linger in your memory? As the credits roll, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, insights, or any thoughts that this cinematic gem has inspired within you. Whether it's the joyful nostalgia of a bygone era or the timeless theme of pursuing one's passion, Shall We Dance has the power to stir emotions and provoke contemplation. Your perspective, dear reader or viewer, adds a unique brushstroke to the rich canvas of interpretations that this movie has generated over the years. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic voyage and for allowing Shall We Dance to leave its indelible mark on your heart and mind. Your participation is what makes this journey through film and storytelling so rewarding. So, now it's your turn to share. What does Shall We Dance mean to you? Your words and reflections matter, for they enrich the tapestry of this enduring cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for your time and your interest. Your insights are a treasure, and I look forward to reading your thoughts and memories about Shall We Dance. Until our next cinematic adventure, keep the magic of the silver screen alive in your heart.